what's going on everybody Mike here welcome back to Tahoe's and Turbos today we are going to do something that uh, I want to do before it starts getting any worse out in the weather and that is uh, seal up this bottom I forgot to close this up when I came in but uh, seal up this bottom here with something because it blows rain in like crazy and come winter time it's going to blow everything into the back here and it's going to create a huge issue trying to get the truck out ever right so I'm going to nip that in the butt now plus as you can hear it's raining blowing you know it's pretty pretty gnarly out there so I got these uh, pool noodles when I was at the fort with my daughter for her soccer tournament they were super cheap so I figured three of them should be long enough I'm hoping I never actually you know measured it out but maybe we should do that here quick before I take them and cut them right so and that's uh, also where I when I was there I also decided to film the uh, the Fort Capel Museum so I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen that video yet or not but it's coming okay and then I just need a little piece for the middle so look at that and I just have to cut a piece for there and then that should seal off the bottom because what I want to do is see how it's um you know, zoom in see how it's got that hole right that's pretty much almost the same diameter as the hole there, as the tube. So if I cut a slit, I should be able to um, kind of you know, pinch it around here. You know what I mean? I can maybe pinch it around this and then tape it. So that's that's the plan. Now whether it'll work, we'll find out soon. Uh, I'm going to take these in the house and that way I can mark them properly and cut them right down the middle. That way they're not all wavy and shitty. Because uh, my workbench here, well, this is my workbench until I can actually maybe build one, get some two by fours and some some wood, and actually maybe build one. So maybe I'll talk to my mom's uh, cousin, and we'll build one with this, and we'll use this as a top for it. We'll build a frame, and that's gonna just sit on top. So I don't know. We'll see. Comment down below. He did an awesome job on the flat, on my garden box. So, but let's uh, do this here before it starts getting really, really rank out here. So, progress. Oh, and pretty soon, we're going to be doing the fan and the light. That's going to be, I'm gonna, well, personally, I'll probably be doing that this week. So, I can't wait. All right, guys. I got all three of them cut. I ran it just tape down them. That way, I could get a kind of a center and then slit them up. So, I could kind of get, you know, that one's kind of crooked a bit, but... It's okay, it's still within the thing. So I can kind of get, you know, an even patch. You can hear, it is just raining like cats and kittens out there. So, this is going to be fun. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit my, my fat ass in here to clip them in. From the inside, I might have to do it from the outside. And then pick up the camera back up, just so that the camera doesn't get wrecked in the rain. Because it's raining like, it is... It's pretty crazy out there, <laughs> so I don't know if that'll be actually enough, but we'll see. So, anyways, wish me luck as we uh, attempt to install this homemade door sweep to keep the elements out. As you can see along the sides here with the bales, it's been absolutely amazing. We haven't had any protrusions, any issues, nothing like that. I don't think there's any water down this side even. Maybe a little tiny bit because of that, but that little bit of opening, we're going to have to seal that up too. Probably with, we'll figure something out, but otherwise, we're getting there. Slowly, we're getting this thing all nice and neat, making sure there's no uh, no beehives or wasp nests growing in here because that would piss me off because I'm allergic. So, anyways, folks, let me get this... Uh, sealed up or let's get this let's get these ends on and then we'll uh measure for that middle piece i might have to go find a measuring tape somewhere i don't know if mine is here or not and i don't want to uh 
just, you know, uh, not risk it, but just like, just wing it. Sorry, I'm just looking at my bars to see, make sure all this stuff is tight as it's supposed to be. So, because we've had some crazy, crazy wind and I don't want anything to be loose and fall apart. <laughs> all right. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get these on here before it gets too bad out there. Gee, made her just in time, folks. You can see I got one on here. That one down over there. I have to pull the zipper back down and bring that back in and around over there, but it's... They're a little bit better. You know, they bring it down a little bit more. Not, you know, a whole hell of a lot more, but a bit more, so... That's good. Um, it was better than what we had. I maybe be able to uh, get something. I don't know. What do you guys comment down below? What can I like put on there? I can finish. Like bring it down the rest of the way. I'm trying to think of stuff I could use. <laughs> so we'll figure it out though. But for now, this will work. Um, I'm gonna measure the gap there. And then we will uh, cut the last one here to fit, right? And then I got the old Gorilla Tape. Man, is it ever coming down? <laughs> is it ever coming down? So, and then we'll just use it to just tape up the ends there, there, and then the ends over there. So, pretty sure that's all we'll need. I hope. We'll see. But... Yeah, she should, she should help some, right? She should help some. Um, I might have to uh, do maybe do something with some boards or something, bring them in in the wintertime. Something with the corners, but you can hear it just pouring. So I'm going to go get this cut before I get soaked. <laughs> and then maybe after we're done, we'll discuss uh, what's next for this guy here. What do you think? Oh, I also got a chair. So, I can sit here and talk to you guys. Because <laughs> I, I was thinking of doing, like, because I'm at home now. When I was at the shop, I always wanted to do, like, you know, live with you guys to interact and, you know, answer questions and stuff like that. Well, now that I'm at home, I can. Because I got rank internet here. And there's nothing, there's no tin roof here that stops my internet. And my rotor is literally just well, on the other side of that and then on the other side of the wall. So, I've got really good internet reception. <laughs> so, anyways, let me get this measured and cut and then uh, we'll be back. Oh, man, is it, is it wet out there? There you guys can kind of see a bit. Oh, so I'm going to be able to get out of here. There we go. She's, she's a wet one. She's a wet one. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get in the house and get the measuring tape. You know, down in the basement, grabbing some tools and half of the stuff that in my bag and at my mom's and stuff and on the work bag, like all my sockets and all that stuff. Thinking of bringing this upstairs and putting it in the other shop, right, with my drill press and stuff. And then I start looking around, right, all my RC stuff. And then it's like, man, the good old days. If you guys know, you know, right. Those that know, know. So these rigs, like, all the way down, boats, skidoos, like, just everything and everything and everything, right? Believe, like, everything. That thing is famous as hell, that guy. But just, you know, and then it's all over here now. Now we're back to this. Got my rims, <laughs> my bumper, my inner cooler, ready to rock and roll from the Tahoe. But anyways get upstairs and go cut that uh that pipe can't forget about this guy too this thing is fucking sick and fast <laughs> oh, i don't know what do you guys think should i get back into this stuff should we start doing some rc videos and some builds and all that because i i got stuff builds that are just in limbo so comment down below i'd love to hear it it's all still here my old RC. if you know you know okay that's all i'm gonna say all right well, we got like a minute of it not blowing like a motherfucker. Let me uh, measure here. 
Uh, let's say well, 26 should be good. We'll go ahead and we'll cut one at 26. And we'll put it in. Um, I'm the, I don't know if I'm going to tape them on today. Just because it's really wet and I don't know if the tape won't stick, right? But they seem to be holding on there really tight. So, that's, you know, that's a bonus. Um, I was also thinking, like, you know, what the heck do I do at the bottom there, right? What do I do at the bottom? Well, I have Gorilla Tape. And back in our C days, we used to make floor pans and, uh, and inner fender wells and all that kind of stuff. Like, lots of crazy stuff with, with uh, Gorilla Tape, the black Gorilla Tape, because it's like rubber. So maybe, just maybe, make them long enough, just make strips that I can attach, that I can just tape on the back or something, and then hopefully it'll hold, right? Or have it so it can tuck in that too, maybe it'll hold. I don't know, what would you guys do? Comment down below. But I'm going to go cut that now to 26 um, inches, slap it in there, and then... Uh, Probably end the video there until the rain stops and then we can finish it up, but ow <laughs> That hurt, that hurt the shoulder Plus I gotta go take the kiddo to her last soccer game of the year or wind up which is gonna be fun in this rain Oh well <laughs> back to work. All right folks cut a piece and this side here is 26 Over well, here's a little bit longer. It's just the curvature of just how it ended up so I'm gonna uh, slap that in there and then uh, we'll see how it looks and how it fits. I gotta bring out one end a little bit more. Whoop de do. I'll probably bring out this end more. Just to compensate for that end coming out more. But let's get it in there. And then we can, I'm gonna get some of this masking tape off. I only put this on there as like a center line, right? So I could cut, trying to cut down the middle of it the whole way so that I'm not getting a weird spiral. So we're gonna rip all that off too and uh, see how it looks. Can't wait. Hopefully, and it, it seems to be working even like well because it's not as bad as it was. So, yay! That went in so tight that you can barely even tell it's there. So that makes me happy. I can start peeling off some of this tape. Oops, sorry. Let me get all this off of here now. Yeah, I'll do that, and then uh, we'll be back to see what it looks like without the tape on. Yay! They're much better without the tape, eh? Much better. I have that side tucked in just for now, but... Oops, sorry. <laughs> much better. Yay, let's go see what the outside looks like. I got this side kind of tucked as well. So I can get in and out. Outside looks good. When it's not raining, I'm gonna tape run a seam of tape along the top there. Kind of keep the water out of it. So, but I'll do that when it's not raining. But for now, it'll work good. Rain's supposed to stop here in a bit so I can do that after. So, I call that a success. I call that a success. What do you guys think? The budget, you know, should help with the weather quite a bit. And they were, it was only like, like what, three bucks, four bucks at the dollar store? And a couple, you know, about half hour of my time about to that. So, yeah. Well, now, like I said, once the weather clears up, we'll, uh, we'll tape that up. But uh, let's have a little chat about this thing, shall we? This Tahoe here, what am I going to do with it? I've been, been racking my brains on it for months. Trying to figure out this fuel problem. Um, because how the sensor is reading, I'm 100% sure the sensor is fine. So there's no point wasting money on testing another uh, another sensor. To me, it just doesn't um, doesn't financially make sense. So I'm probably going to be looking at new fuel rails with a different uh, fuel regulator set up and all that kind of shit or throw yeah that's pretty much it all I can do uh, hopefully I can find something that will match up with my intake otherwise I'll just have to put an aftermarket shit metal intake on it which as much as I want to do eventually 
I financially can't right now. Um, well, we're getting there. Um, we're getting there. So, hey, if anybody watching this that has, like, you know, if you're Holly or anybody like that, right, or at EFI Tech or anything, NCT, you guys want to sponsor a guy, help a guy out, you know, very much appreciated. It would be very much appreciated. Uh, fuel system parts. That's pretty much what I'm look, looking at. Uh, fittings, lines, couplers, adapters, fuel rails, uh, like injector adapters, like and spacers, shit like that. You know, all that kind of shit. Uh, yeah. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'm going to now wait for the rain to stop, and then I'm going to finish this up, so we'll see you then. Alright folks, that's where I'm going to end the video, as you can probably hear. This is like, literally three days later and it's still raining, so there's no point wasting any more time. Uh, oh, my back. Yeah, I screwed my back up too, so I haven't been able to walk for the last few days. One thing though I can say, is this uh, little uh, shield, this little door seal that I made, has, there's no rain has come in here at all. It's not blown in, These are usually there's puddles. If I get down here, there's usually puddles there, puddles there, in the low spots. But this is completely dry. So, I think success. What do you guys think for now? So, and it's still, it's on there real good. Like, I don't think that wants to come off. So, I'll only tape it, I guess, now if I have to. But, oof, yeah, it's really coming down again. So, it's been, it's been like that, so like I said, for the last week. So, we've been getting lots of rain. Uh, next video, we're going to be in the garage at Moz there, and um, we're going to be checking out the uh, sandblaster, seeing how well that works, so we can start getting ready for this thing here. I'm still on the fence how I want to do the rims, if I want to do them chrome, or if I want to do them bronze, the gold color, I don't know, what do you guys think, comment down below, I'd love to hear it. I'm thinking maybe chrome, because it'll blend in with the bars, and it'll blend in with uh, up here and stuff. This is stuff here is going to be powder coated. I'm probably going to do this yellow to match the uh, the forks because I'm going to be redoing those as well. So handlebars will be going to be staying chrome. Some of this other shit though I'll probably get a powder coat just for the shits of it. Um, I got a piece coming for the throttle here to rig something up so that we can have a throttle. I guess here let me zoom in. You can see because it's broken. So I got, I bought a thing online to see, see if we can, uh, you know, make something. Put this can go through it, and we can even just have a nut, like have an end. So hopefully that'll come soon. Because uh, well, I was playing with this thing, and I give it a pull. I don't know if I'll be able to now because my back. But oh, she wants to go. <laughs> so. Which, I like that idea. Is it in gear? It's in gear. There we go. I think it's out of gear now. No. Oh, it's still in gear. Oh, it's got to come up, I think. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I always forget that it's one down. And then, like, I think three up or four up. So, I can't quite remember. But we'll we'll get all that all jazzed out. It's got the pet cock still. So, but anyways, not boring you guys with that stuff. We'll talk about the trike next time. Next video, like I said, we're gonna be in the other garage learning how to play with the sandblaster. But I'm gonna end it today. Thanks guys for tuning in. And uh, the first mod really we've done to the shop, aside from the bales, is keeping the rain out from the door. So that's awesome. Uh, next mod we're gonna be doing is a ceiling fan, which I'm gonna be getting those parts in a couple days. So. Till then, take care of yourselves. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and God bless.